Hi everyone, in this video we'll talk about three functions, concatenate, paste and paste zero. Uh, majorly we'll talk about how concatenate and paste are different and then uh, I'll explain the paste zero function which you'll use mostly in your codes and it, it will be a very important part in any of the web scraping tutorials that you watch over YouTube. So with that, let's get started. Concatenate function is abbreviated as cat, C-A-T with brackets and this is how it works so let's say i just open the concatenate function the cat function cat bracket open and i and i just add multiple strings like football is better than cricket right and when i just run that chunk i can see that i just get the exact string in a sentence formation it just adds all the strings together so it concatenates the different words or different sentences that you give into the function right that's how simple it is but can we store this output in a variable? Does the concatenate function give me the functionality that I can store football is better than cricket in a variable and then print it later? Let's try that. So I have named the variable result underscore cat, which is result underscore concatenate. When I run this, I get football is better than cricket, but result dot cat in the environment gives me null. We get a null value and that is a problem because if I use concatenate function, I cannot store it. This is due to uh, concatenate function's lack of storage in R and you cannot use this function if you want to store it in any other variable. So here the paste function steps in. How does the paste function work? Let's use the same words that we used in the concatenate function into the paste function. And let's see how, how this goes. When I run this, I get football is better than cricket, but just notice I got quotes on the left side and the right side. So this is actually a string and not just an output. So whenever I run paste, we get text in quotes, which is a string and it can be stored as a character, right? So if I name a new variable called result underscore paste and I run the same command as I did it for concatenate and now I'll do it for paste, I'll get a character a vector in my environment called result underscore paste with football is better than cricket now why is this good why do i want to store things in this i can just answer you that when you store things as a character you can use some more functions over it like what's the length of the string do you want to separate it from a particular point do you want to search five elements of the string from the left or from the right you can do multiple operations on that saved variable right so one example of that uh, function is ncar so like n c h a r it just tells me how many characters like the number of characters so that was n number of characters into a string and if i pass result underscore paste in ncar i get there are 31 characters in this string if i uh, pasted it as result underscore cat i wouldn't have been able to use ncar variable in the first place so that's how you can use paste function to save text a concatenated textual variable and then actually run multiple variables like ncar which tells you number of elements of in a string or a character that, and then you can build your analysis from there now we have talked about concatenate paste but the most important function that you will be using is paste zero now what is paste zero so you can just understand the zero just by the name indicates there is no spaces between whatever it is being pasted you have the option of either adding a space or a new delimiter like a comma or a dash or nothing at all you get the full power of that function right so let's say i just use paste zero and i save it as result underscore paste zero and, and i'll show you the difference between it so if you see in this window on the bottom football is better than cricket had spaces when we use the paste function and when we're using the paste zero function i can see there are no spaces in it because paste zero zero means no spaces but I do have the functionality of adding whatever I want and however I want it. So there's a command in page zero, which is called collapse is equal to. So whenever you want to pass anything and you want to add spaces in between or dash in between or commas in between, you can just add a collapse is equal to at the end of the page zero command. So I'll just show you here, like look, look at the cell highlighted. So result underscore page zero collapse. I have created a, a, a new variable in which I've passed in page C using the combine function to tell the code that this is being combined. And in the space zero, I have added a collapse of space, right? If I run this, I will show you the environment window again. Now I have the exact same output as I had it in the paste. 
if I put a dash in the collapse command, I can see it's now football dash is dash better dash than dash cricket, right? So you have the power of changing the delimiter, changing the spaces, not having spaces, however you would like. The only caveat in page zero when you have to use collapse is that you have to wrap these strings into a combined function. You will get used to it when you uh, see the applicability of page zero in many applications and especially in web scraping codes that many uh, tutorials on YouTube has. That's it for this video. Do check out the other stuff on the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.